We are here at Rim Park, and it's been 18 months in the making for the owner and president of the Fergus Whalers. This is Jason Beyer. What an incredible moment that was to see Mason Stewart, a Guelph hockey player, step onto the ice. He's the first kid to ever step onto the ice as you had your first practice here tonight, Jay. Um, I don't know. How do you describe all this, man? It's a, it's a lot of excitement all bundled up in one little you know moment in time. It's a, it's a memory made for everybody. I can't, uh, first off, thank you for being here tonight too, Darren, to this, this historic moment for our organization. For everybody that's got us to this point, for everybody helping out, volunteers, our staff, uh, we all know who they are. Yep. I can't thank them enough for yep. being here and being in the, the grind for the last 18 months. Uh, what an outstanding moment to be on the ice tonight with the group and seeing the practices start. Uh, just an honor to be in this position, and we're really excited about the opportunities that lay ahead for us. Emotional? at all just because you're the only person who knows how much work went into this we haven't had a regular season game yet that will come in september however very emotional very emotional for me walking to the rink tonight knowing that everything is is come to fruition for us and having this time with the fergus whalers are for real now you know people have talked about us you know hail to the whales been out there <laughs> And it's, uh, it's for real now. And it starts tonight here in Waterloo. Let's talk hockey. What do you want to see this weekend? you got a bunch of prospects out here looking to, you know, get the team together, start to build a roster. What do you want to see from these kids? And, you know, what do you think it's been like so far? First off, a great great job by Craig Duell, yeah. Ryan Duck, Ryan Black and the staff to, to gather this great amount of kids. A lot of good talent this weekend. We've got about 60 skaters, you know, 10 goaltenders. Yeah. You know, so thank them for all for being here and, and registering. Uh, we're looking for kids to battle, you know, yeah, compete, yeah. work hard, and and show us that they're at both ends of the rink. We we know we're need, in the first couple you know years yeah. we need to compete hard and just put it all on the ice. So uh, obviously skill sets are important, but we want to be known as a hardworking team and a team to be hard to play against. Do you have goals for the first season? Are there things that you set your sights on? I know you don't have a team yet, so maybe that's unfair of me to ask you. However, as a president and as a staff, you've thought about where you want to be. Absolutely. Now, we're all competitors, right? For sure. But realistically, we just want to be in every game. We, we want to make sure the league knows that we're there every night, whether it's on home ice or it's in their, their barn. We're going to compete, bring it every night. Where that puts us at, at that point, we'll, we'll take it. But we want to make sure we know that we're a hardworking group and uh, battle every night whether it's at CW Sportsplex or it's in somebody else's rink. Here's what we know so far. The Fergus Whalers have three signed players. They've got 20-year-old forward Aiden Mead, Fergus kid. They've got J.J. Levine, Fergus kid, and you've also got Bradley Bovel, a goaltender. Um, we'll see what comes out of this weekend. Maybe you sign more out of this. Uh, those three specifically, though, clearly you're trying to build inside your hometown. We're very pleased to have those three players on our roster signed. Our group was very excited. Bradley Bove is a player that I know very well, a yeah. goaltender that I trust. And to have him between the pipes starting September, we're very pleased and excited to have Bradley a part of our group. Uh, J.J. Levine and Aiden Mead, uh, two strong, Fergus-grown kids. Yeah. Very excited about that transaction. I know they're excited. We're even more excited about having them. And Aiden joined us here tonight, which is excellent. Right. So we're very pleased with our start, and there's more to come. Last one for you, just the Fergus community, Jay. You know, you hope that it would take hold, and I think it's been amazing to see on social media and all the different things that you've done. You've done a couple of different promo things, too. You know I love Hail to the Whale. I think it's awesome and it's hilarious. Um, but what's the response really been? It's been good on social media, but it, are you feeling that oh, as the president? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and to the Fergus community and people all around the area, thank you very much. It's been outstanding. Coops Drywall, our main sponsor. Yeah. The list goes on. Go to our website. Our social media, we point it out every time we're on there how much it means to us and organization. So the, the welcoming of our of our team to the to the community has grown and grown and grown since the day it was announced. Mm -hmm. And I think the excitement's starting to brew a little bit now. You've had the skate start this weekend, you know, our home opener has been announced on September seventeenth. Yep. Yep. So we got things to look forward to now. And again, we, we really appreciate everybody's support of the organization, the team, and we're really excited about putting a Good, strong team on the ice. 18 months ago, this man beside me decided he wanted to be an owner in the PJHL, and he saw it to come to fruition here tonight at Rim Park with these players going on the ice. Going to be a great weekend here at Rim, September 17th. Can't wait for that. Hail to the whale, my friend. Hail to the whale, my friend. Thanks, Darren.